Hello Etsy sellers, it's Kay. I'm going to do three or four more store critiques. Um, be sure to watch my other Etsy videos though because it will answer a lot of your questions. I get, even over the years, I get a lot of the same questions over and over. So um, if you'll go watch especially the Etsy SEO video, I'm telling you, that's that's the money video because that's where we go in deep into the SEO and how to do it and how to do it right. I probably won't do too many more of these critique videos and I'll tell you why. Because most people make the same mistakes. So I've just got a quick glance at these couple stores and they're probably looking to me like they're the same mistakes in the, that the stores made in the last video I made. So really there's no sense in keep making these. Um, it's just kind of the same thing over and over and I don't mean that to sound mean that's just the truth most of the new or even people that have been selling on Etsy for a while are making the same mistakes so and I know you guys can all do great you have it in you you just need a little knowledge also um, I'm thinking about doing a live on YouTube because it looks like it's gonna take a while to get to a thousand um, followers on TikTok. So if you guys are interested in a live YouTube where you can ask me whatever you want, say something down in the comments. Let me know if day or evening is better. As you all know, we're coming up on the busy season. I mean, it was getting crazy today, I'm telling you. So I'm not sure, you know, sooner is better because once we get too far into October, I probably won't be making too many YouTube videos, and I probably won't be on TikTok too much, just because we'll be too busy. Just a little background, too. I sell on Amazon, Walmart, Etsy, eBay, and my own website. So it's going to get pretty crazy here quick. But um, otherwise, here we go. So we're going to start with Design Unlimited and Company. Cute stickers. Just trying to get a general feel. Right off the bat, I would say get rid of these backgrounds. They're way too busy. Yeah, like I said in another video, we're not selling backgrounds. You're selling stickers. And these backgrounds are definitely taken away from your stickers. If you want, you can use these as picture number two. Don't ever use them for picture number one. Google won't like these. So you might get kicked out of Google Shopping. If you ever decide to sell on Amazon, you won't be able to use these pictures. So definitely take some new pictures. I know, I don't like doing pictures either. But I, these, these backgrounds are not helping you. They're too dark too. Always go into photo editing and lighten up your pictures. Even, even if this was on a white background, it's too dark. The, the picture is just too dark. Alrighty, let's go from there. Let's read your store announcement. That's kind of cute. I would put, though, some more pertinent information. Guys, shipping's going to be a mess this fall. It's a mess now. So I think every single person selling on Etsy in your Etsy announcement should have something that says USPS is delaying shipments. We are not responsible for delayed shipments. Y'all better get it in there because it's going to be bad. Oh, it's been horrible the last couple weeks. Just horrible. Worse than it was at the beginning of COVID. Okay, another thing I noticed right off the bat is you have no sections. You need to get those sections in there. Remember, sections are keywords. Google picks those up. So you need to have all these things in sections. You know, you can just do animal stickers, uh, floral stickers, Rainbow stickers. Just come up with section names and get them in there because it's just another way to get found in Google. Let's scroll down here. I don't see any shop policies. Um, some of this stuff, somebody was saying with the last video, sometimes you guys have it and it's not showing on my computer. I'm using a desktop so I can screen record. So I don't always see what you see on a phone, but this shows that you don't have any shop policies. If you don't have them, be sure and get them in there. And again, I want to re-emphasize, Etsy gives everybody an Etsy listing quality score. 
So like your listing score is going to be lower because your pictures are not good quality. You're going to go lower because you don't have shop policies. Let's see what else. And I'm not trying to be a drag. I'm just trying to help you. You don't, you know, you can't fix it if you don't know what you're doing wrong. Let's look at this sticker. Okay. Let's look at this title. It's a good day to have a good day quote sticker for your laptop. Water bottle, journal, car, window, decoration. Good day sticker with quote. So again, let's look at this. We're selling stickers, but it took you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 words until you got to what you were selling, which is a sticker. So remember, guys, Google puts the most emphasis on the keywords in the first half, in the first part of this title. So you don't want sticker to be the 11th word. You want it to be the first, second, or third. So be sure you get sticker higher up in your title. Remember, anything down here at the end of the title holds less weight with Google. They're not really looking what's at the end. I mean, they'll look at the whole thing, but what's most important is this very first part. Also, you need to capitalize each letter except for like A and 2. The rest of these should be capitalized. And you've kind of got some keyword spamming going on in here. So I would whittle this down a little bit and make it make sense a little better. You kind of just threw everything in the kitchen sink in there. Let's look at your description. See, you're going to get in trouble with Google because they don't want all this in the description. And you have no description in your description. So, like, the first part of your description should restate your title. So, the first part of this should, uh, sorry, <laughs> description should say, it, uh, quote sticker, it's a good day to have a good day. So, that's how this sh description should start. And then you can give this underneath that. No shipping information, get that out of there. Can't put shipping is free, Google hates it. Get this stuff out of there. Again, you can only have the description in the description area. Listen, guys, you don't want to get kicked out of Google Shopping because we all live and die by Google. So, uh, be sure and fix that. No shipping information in the description. Let's go back. See, this one's a little better. But... Patagonia bear sticker. See, you got to the point right away on this one. But again, you capitalized, and then you didn't, and then you did, and then you didn't. You need to be consistent. So the first letter of each word should be capitalized, except for for, and, with, to. So the rest should be capitalized. Again, you have no description in your description, so get a description in there. Remember, you can put links to your website and TikTok and all that over in the about me part so you need to get it off here Let's go back and look some more I think that's about it I would um, get these pictures get improved pictures get your sections up get your policies up rewrite some of these titles where you take too long to say what you're selling and I think you're going to do great. You only have 30 listings. So it has, again, the more you list, the more you get seen. So um, you'll get going. Also, like I told the other sticker sellers, sell in packs. Packs of three, packs of six. This will raise your average uh, sale amount, which becomes important later in business. So um, be sure to get all that done because, like I said, you can, you can ship... Three stickers for the same price as one. You can probably ship six for the same price as one. So people love to buy bundles, so get that in there, and I wish you much success. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Wolf and Wonder, what a cute name. Oh, I love dogs. This is so cute. Oh, Illinois. We lived not far from there for a long time. Some of these pictures are very good. Do you guys see what I mean now? 
Look at this picture on a white background. So we know she's selling dog leashes, right? It's clear. These, not as clear, but not horrible. Look, she used all of her sections. I think a couple of these could have better names. What kind of stickers? If they're pet stickers, then it should stay pet stickers, dog stickers, whatever. Harnesses, what kind of harness? Leash, should say dog leash. Now let's look at your SEO. Not horrible, but not great. Remember, you do not need to repeat keywords. So you have blue in here twice. You only need it once. Oh, you have leash one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's way too many. Google will kick you out for that. Again, that's keyword stuffing. Google hates it. And this will lower your Etsy listing score. So get those. You only need to say leash one time. Sometimes you can repeat it again if you need to just to make the title make sense. Sometimes I have to repeat a keyword once, but not seven times. No, 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 don't do that. Get rid of these hyphens. You don't need those. They're just, yeah, you just don't need them and they don't look nice. Don't need cotton twice. So, see, so you're wasting all this space using the same keywords over and over when you should be coming up with other great keywords. And see, this dog should be up here. It should say blue ombre dog leash. And then, like I said, you got to get to the point right away. I don't know why you're not wanting to say dog leash, but you need dog leash right in the beginning of your title. Because that's I get that some people might use it on a cat or a goat, but you're... Your main buyer is going to be somebody looking for a dog leash. So get dog in these first three words. Let's go look at your description. This is good. But again, it, it, I always like to restate the title in the first sentence of the description. That's for Etsy because Etsy will pick that up. So a lot of times it's good to just restate the title. Care instructions, you really shouldn't have them here, but I don't think they're going to hurt you real bad. But again, Google only likes to have the description in the description area. Not bad, not bad. Great picture. All three pictures are very good. This picture seems a little busy to me, maybe too close. Let's see what the big picture looks like. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I think I'd probably take these out of the box because it's just, it's too much. That's cute, super cute, super cute. Great pictures here. I would think about tweaking this picture. Now let's look at the title. Carnival Cutie Adjustable Dog Harness. See, again, I think you're still taking too long to get to dog. You have, now this one you've got dog three times, harness three times, no, four, five times. So yeah, you're, you're definitely keyword stuffing. Description is good. Now I'm not, you know, just, all I'm going to say about tags is use all 13. Because somebody said mine isn't showing, like when I told them in the other one they didn't use all their tags. And they said they are, but you couldn't see it on my computer. So just remember, use all 13 tags. And two to three word phrases are the best tags. So keep that in mind. So yeah, I think you could just tweak a few things here and you'll see some increases. Remember, guys, when you tweak stuff and you switch stuff around, it's not immediate. It probably takes 48, 72 hours for Google to pick up the changes. If you were kicked out of Google because you were not going by their rules, it will take a little longer. So um, some people see a difference right away. Some it takes about a week. Some people like to change just a couple listings and see what happens. Totally up to you. But... You know, if you change a listing tonight, you're, now some people see a difference right away and some don't. So don't be upset if you don't see this huge difference. 
But other, yeah, I think you've got a good shop. Try to stay away from busy pictures. I don't like this. I don't like taking pictures on carpet. Because I think it cheapens what you're selling. Because people know that's carpet. So it's like, it just kind of cheapens it. I don't recommend doing that. Some of your pictures are really good, though. So I think you're on the right path. Alrighty, let's go on to the next one. Oh, shoot. I had them on here. I hope I didn't lose them. I had another shop to look at. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Worst designs. I'm... <laughs> I gotta say it. Don't get upset with me. I'm not sure that's the best name. Because I get... I don't know. That name could be taken the wrong... It just sounds not great when you say it. Worst designs. Do you get what I'm saying? Oh, you're in Ohio too. I'm in Ohio too. Listen, if you love that name, keep it. People gave me grief for naming my popcorn store Damn Good Popcorn. And I'm telling you, it's a lot of the reason why we took off the way we did. So if you love that name, keep it. But I think it could be a better name. But that's totally up to you. Just giving you my opinion. No shop announcement. I would get one in there. Like I said, if nothing else, I would put in there that to expect delays. Expect package delays. Oh, it's terrible, guys. Good section name. See, she's using all of her sections. I don't see shop policies. Make sure you have those. Okay, at first glance, I worry a little bit about copyright and trademark infringement. Remember, guys, I'm always going to just say it like it is. You probably got some infringement going on in here. Um, I'd be real careful, especially Bravo Holic. You know, you got to check out, make sure you can use these. I think your pictures are pretty good. I don't know about this background. I don't think it helps anything. I think a solid white background would be better. Remember, guys, not selling backgrounds. Nope, nope, nope. So you want the main focus to be what you're selling. This one... See how long... Look, you don't have graphic t-shirt till way at the end. So, what's going to happen is, even for Etsy, who is using AI now, artificial intelligence, is going to look at this and not really get what it is you're selling because it's way down here and you got so many, there's a lot in here. So, I would get to the t-shirt right away, up here. And I, I'm not a fan of calling them just a T because I still think people search by t-shirt. So, I get t-shirt in there. Now, see, I'm not familiar with this saying, so it's, um, so I can't really comment on that. But you don't need hyphens, and I would get graphic T way up in that title. These shirts are made to order and completely customizable. All the artwork is my own. They are printed onto. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's... But again, you, you should restate the title in the first sentence of the description. So right off the bat, just do that and then have the rest of your description. See, I think this is a way better picture. See, I know it's boring, but a white background is best. It just is. Like I said, Amazon studied this for years, and this is why they require everybody to have a white background, because that's what makes things sell. It just is. So let's look at this one. Real House of Wives of New York, Graphic T, Leah McSweeney, Hell No Bitch. Okay, I'm a big Housewives fan. But again, I think, you're, I think you could get in trouble with this. I don't know. You might squeak under the wire. You might not. If you get a takedown notice, take them down immediately. Don't try to fight it. Just take them down. Um, I think a super cute shirt. I think, again, your title, you need to get graphic t-shirt a little closer. I would almost abbreviate Real Housewives of New York. 
R-H-N-Y, which is what most know it by. I just, you know, just be careful selling this stuff. I just don't know. If, you know, they sell a lot of this stuff on Bravo, so you could get in trouble there. I just don't want to see anybody get in trouble because I've seen it happen to small shops. People think, oh, we're small. They won't come after us, but they will. I promise you they will. So I think what you did was you just put a generic description in all of your listings. But again, that you really should have this first sentence of your description should be your title. So yeah, just be sure you're getting to the point quicker. But I mean, you look at this picture versus this picture and see what I mean? The white background just works. It's just better. It just is. Sorry. I'm not a big fan of the grass pictures either. Like I said, if you guys ever want to transition over to selling on Amazon, and I highly recommend it, Amazon's been good to me, you're going to have to have white backgrounds. So my thing is, always know you're going to be successful and that you're going to expand out from Etsy because you're never going to put all your eggs in one basket and get those white backgrounds. It, this especially because this bottle has a lot of green, the green grass is not setting it off. If you put this on a white background, those colors are going to pop. And that's what you want. Remember, they, all they got to go by on the internet is your picture. So you got to sell it. So yeah, I would definitely... I mean, you could use these farther down for extra pictures. Get at least one with a white background. See, this one's pretty good. Glitter and epoxy water bottle. So you got to the point right away. That's good. Glitter ombre water bottle, but see, then you start repeating it again. Made to order. Okay, if the, the, here's my thing. If this is personalized, you need to be, personalized needs to be the very first word. Because people love personalized, let me tell you. But that needs to be the very first word of the title. So it should say personalized glitter epoxy water bottle. Don't put made to order because that's what personalized means. <laughs> just get that personalized up to right that should be right in this first spot so again we kind of got a generic description but you again to get that title in this first sentence I think you'll sell a lot more I don't know how many of these you've sold but if listen if you get that personalized up here to the first spot, which is the number one spot, and you reword this a little bit, you get a white background, I suspect you're going to sell a lot more. That would be my feeling. So yeah, there we go. Let me see, do we have any other? I think that was all the shops for this video. Listen guys, I had a lot of trouble. There was a lot of people that asked me to do their shop and I can't find your link because it wasn't on your TikTok. So um, sorry about that, but I looked for a lot and like I said, I'm kind of pressed for time so I couldn't keep digging and digging and trying to find them. But sadly, this will probably be my last one because if you go watch the other one and then you watch this one, you can kind of see I'm giving the same advice over and over. So there's really no reason to just keep giving the same advice over and over. But um I hope this helps you guys. Listen, we can all be successful. I'm a big believer. Y'all, if we do a live, I'll tell you the whole story how I got started. But I've been doing this for many years. But um, I get so frustrated on TikTok because y'all ask me questions, and I can't sit there typing all day. So I'm like, if we could just do a live, this would be so much easier. You guys could ask me whatever you want. Somebody did ask me. I did write down about how to use Pinterest. Pinterest. Guys, Pinterest is where it's at because it takes very little time. But the big thing on Pinterest is you got to have a great picture. And then you hope it goes viral. I've had a lot of things on Pinterest go viral. Oh, it's such a good day, let me tell you. So um, Pinterest is, you know, all you got to do is pin this stuff, follow a few people. I don't even really follow anybody on Pinterest. 
And I get more free traffic from print Pinterest than any other social media. It trumps Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, anything. So always use Pinterest. And another thing I wanted to say was people keep asking me about ads. And I keep saying don't ever spend more than a dollar a day on Etsy ads. Now, I am automatically put into the Etsy Google ads that we used to get for free. Because if you sell over 10000 a year, you don't get a choice. So I am in that. Even though I had no choice. Kind of ticks me off that Etsy did that. But you know what? It's Etsy's playground. we got to go by their rules. So yes, I am in that because I can't opt out of it. So I do get the Google ads. But I will tell you this. Before Etsy made us do it, I always got Google. Because my entire store is optimized for Google. So that's why I've always had a ton of sales for years and years and years. And I've had all kinds of different Etsy stores. Let me tell you, it doesn't matter what you sell. It all is the same. I have sold food, jam, yarn, crocheted blankets, craft supplies. Um, I used to sell a lot of paracord, paracord jigs. And that's my other thing too. Listen, if you have a shop and it's not working, you're not married to it. You can change. It's okay. You can, you can totally change what you want to sell. You can do whatever you want. You are not stuck with something because that's what you tried first. You know, you, you go and you find the thing that hits and that you're passionate about, and then you go from there. Now, like you all know, I've got two Etsy shops that are very busy right now. So, there you go. One is a craft supply yarn crochet patterns, and one is a gourmet popcorn store. People always think I'm nuts, but that's it is what it is. That's what I do. So... <clears throat> There's a long story behind that. I won't go into that. I know I have so many stories you guys. It's crazy Anyway, I better wind this up if you guys want to do a YouTube live and you can ask me whatever you want Please comment down in the comments and let me know When you want to do it daytime or nighttime? Right now for me evening is probably going to be better because I'm just getting too busy um, Oh one more thing somebody wanted to see how I print my labels Here's what I, I use stamps.com. This is a software. Now I've already printed orders today for today. So this is what I do. Show you guys this real quick. My computer's probably moving slow because I'm doing the screen recording and this is an older computer. So see right now it's importing my orders in from my website. This is my website. So I have three orders. Here's my eBay store, which I don't sell too much on eBay anymore. I kind of not like an eBay, even though I've been there like 20 years. Here's my Case Crochet Etsy shop. And see, this is what I love about stamps, is you can import from everywhere. Here's my Amazon store. I know, it's really slow. <laughs> Come on. But like, it's not going to show too much because I've already shipped today. But here, see, Etsy, I have a lot of pending orders on my Etsy popcorn store. Because a lot of these are for parties. So even though they've ordered, they don't ship for like a week to two weeks. And that's why I said sometimes this gives me anxiety when I look at it. And I'm like, holy cow. And then I take a deep breath and I just keep going. So, um... That's why, you know, when I made the TikTok about, yeah, this gives me a little bit of anxiety when I have this many open orders. But when you sell to parties and stuff, that's just the way it goes. Sometimes I wish I could just ship them all and be done with it. But that's just not real life. So, I'll show you. We'll, we'll pretend like I'm shipping these. Now, see, I know, I've been doing this so long that I know what everything I sell weighs. And you need to know, too. Don't ever guess. You need to know exactly what your stuff weighs. So, I know this weighs 5 pounds, 8 ounces. Going to ship priority mail. I know my box size is 10 by 10 by 10. So, see, it's green. 
and I would just go up here and hit print. Now I can print the shipping label, packing slip, packing slip, and a shipping label. So, um, yeah, maybe one day I'll make one while I'm printing and everything. I use a Dymo to print, which is the best money you'll ever spend. Get you a Dymo. Get you the sticker labels so you're not... Oh, I want to say this, too. I know I have so much to say, you guys. I know you, especially on TikTok, you guys like shipping in those cutesy little uh, bubble mailers that are, like, pink and purple and glitter, and they're so cute. Please don't do that. Don't do that. Number one, they cost way too much money. That's eating into your profit. Don't do it. Number two, porch thieves love them. That's what they're looking for. Anything cute and glittery, that's what they're going to steal. And I'm telling you, this holiday season, theft's going to be huge. So I really don't recommend shipping in those cute things. I don't. I quit even putting a damn good popcorn sticker on ours because so many were getting stolen. It's best they don't even think of what's in that box. Because it just says, steal me. So that's my little tip for the day. I know you guys like them. I know customers think they're cute. But um, really rethink that because if you start shipping a lot and you start getting a lot of stolen items, it's a nightmare. It's not good because you're going to have to replace it at your cost. So really think about those cutesy mailing things. Anyway, that's it for tonight. You guys can all be successful. Let me know if you want to do that live. Hit the like button for me. I'd appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.